What's up guys, uh, this is Streets of Fury EX. Uh, I just kind of picked this up. I heard the uh, original version of this was on Xbox Live Indie Games, which, as you know, uh, if you talk to any indie developers, that was like, you know, releasing your game in the desert, pretty much. <laughs> you know, there was some really cool stuff on there, but it was really hard to find. Uh, so what these guys decided to do was they uh, enhanced the game and they put it on Steam, where, you know, Steam is a service that people actually use. <laughs> Uh, right now, uh, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of exposure or feedback on there. Uh, pretty much every review on the uh, store page is pretty positive right now, which is a good sign. Uh, I really like this game. Uh, I have played through uh, the first half of the campaign. There's two like full campaign modes. Uh, the game's really solid. It's got probably the best uh, combo system I've seen in any indie beat-em-up. Uh, arguably one of the best combo systems in any beat em up at all uh, if you're into stylish combos and stuff uh, if you want something more basic you know we want something like streets of rage or final fight uh, you know where you have a small move set and the combos aren't too long aside from you know the infinite jabs jab infinites and stuff <laughs> uh, this game is right up your alley uh, my main issue with this game is the fact that uh, th there are defensive options uh, but you cannot there are no cancels for them <laughs> uh, in a normal beat em up it wouldn't really be a problem normally you have uh, you know knockback attacks that you can end your combos with to give you breathing room uh, that's how games like Final Fight and Street to Rage worked you know you could do your super joy or you could do the end of your combo or like the bare knuckle for uh, or grand upper for Axel stuff like that uh, here the problem is uh, there's a lot of crowd control I guess you could say Muso style <laughs> uh, sections where you know you fight like a dozen or more dudes at once uh, in my opinion that's when the game really falls apart uh, you can't really <laughs> do a whole lot about it I mean you can dash back but it's tied to a stamina bar and you can't cancel into it you can block but uh, there's a your guard gets crushed pretty fast and you can't cancel into it there are no parries uh, I did give them some feedback right now this game is kind of like 20XX. It's got a lot of positive reviews, but uh, the forum is mostly just people shit posting. Uh, you know, they don't like the art style, or they think it's a ripoff, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> I only have I have the only existing feedback topic right now. Uh, but they actually replied to me in about an hour, and they said that uh, they're going to be adding a training mode, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, I think this will be a great uh, poverty game if you're into training mode, monstering, <laughs> uh, combo videos, and stuff like that. Uh, and they said they're going to be adding some defensive options. Uh, I gave them some suggestions. Uh, maybe you could just be able to cancel into the existing defensive options to make them not so lackluster. Uh, parries would be really good too. Uh, the game has uh, a lot of fighting game style mechanics like uh, guard crushes, uh, super armor, hyper armor, uh, invincibility frames and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> a lot of it just falls apart when you know they send like 12 of those dudes or 20 of those dudes at you at once. Uh, I really recommend the game right now. They're doing like a 15% off thing. It's like 8 bucks. Uh, it's got a pretty decent amount of content. Uh, as you can see in the uh, upper right hand corner, there's a security level. Uh, there are no real RPG elements in this game per se. Um, the security level basically unlocks extra features. It's kind of like what they do in like modern first-person shooters. Uh, you know, you fill up the bar and you unlock new things. I think it's a pretty cool way to uh, gain off the contents. Uh, you get significant amounts of experience for uh, doing combos and stuff like that. Uh, right now, uh, I'm at level 43 and it goes up to 100, so it's quite a bit of content. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through uh, a couple levels of the campaign here. I'm not sure what uh, custom mode is, but I'm pretty interested in it. <laughs> uh, lots of difficulty modes. Uh, honestly, I'm probably not going to mess with any of these at all <laughs> until uh, they fix the defensive aspect of the game, because I can tell it's going to be uh, artificial difficulty galore once you get to the crowd control section. So we're just going to go on medium here. This guy's got some pretty beastly ground combos. <laughs> This game has the best um, idle animations because the sprites aren't actual sprite animations. <laughs> They're just photographs they took of people. Oh, 
I like how this game does not take itself seriously. It looks pretty silly, and uh, <laughs> they've got kind of a Sims uh, banjo kazooie type of gibberish going on. It's like half French, half English, and half just straight gibberish. That's an example of how uh, pretty crazy the combos can get. You have a super bar, uh, like a fighting game. You can fill it up by attacking enemies. You have uh, three super moves. You have one attack button, one launcher button, and a special attack button. And R1 is uh, an attack modifier, kind of like Devil May Cry. So, pretty robust moveset. The enemies also have a burst uh, when you hit when you hit them too much. If you try to do like a standing infinite or something, they'll turn red. Uh, if you hit them again, they will burst. Very similar to uh, Skullgirls, the infinite prevention system they have in that game. So I'm gonna play through to the uh, first boss here, so you guys get a pretty good, uh, I guess, overview of the game. This is where uh, the game starts to fall apart when you fight a bunch of these dudes at once. <laughs> Unfortunately, the uh, <laughs> the defensive options are just not really uh, built for crowd control. And unfortunately, it's a pretty big part of this game. <laughs> game is a uh, really interesting like it's got the aesthetics of uh, the really crappy digitized games in the 90s like pit fighter <laughs> all those games that tried to you know sell themselves as having photorealistic graphics but they always had awful gameplay but uh <laughs> this game uh, sets itself apart from that from having really solid gameplay fortunately it's a little flawed like i said uh the muso ish uh, sections of this game is where the game kind of falls apart in my opinion but <laughs> the rest is really solid if you want to pick it up i'll post a link in the description um looks like they're going to be supporting it for at least a little while uh they said that there's going to be a training mode and uh they're hopefully going to be working on the uh, defensive options as well uh once they do that i may even speed run this game uh, i went through the first part of the campaign and it was probably about 45 minutes to an hour, which is a pretty standard length for a modern beat-em-up. Uh, I think it's really cool they were able to stick to their guns and not really add any RPG elements. Uh, if you talk to, you know, really hardcore beat-em-up fans like Murphigator, you should definitely be following him on Twitch if you like the stuff that I put up. Uh, he does not really... He doesn't really like uh, the RPG elements that they have in <laughs> most modern beat-em-ups these days. I think uh, 
just the expectations of modern games. Uh, a lot of times the developers pretty much have a gun to their head to put that kind of stuff in there. Uh, this is just a straight beat em up. There are no RPG elements at all. Uh, the only RPG element, so to speak, is the security level, which is just unlockables. It has no bearing on the actual gameplay. You don't get stronger, you don't get more moves. You have your whole move set at the start. It's just kind of a matter of how you're able to combine it and put it to good use. So with that said, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I'll have more of this in the near future. Thanks for watching. Peace.